Today's flow class is without any chaturanga push-ups, unless you wish to add them in. You don't need any props for today's class, but I'll be guiding you through a 30 minute flow series that will build and build so you have lots of options to develop your strength and stamina. And there's a dog involved. So you don't need to have a dog in the video, but I think it adds to the experience. So I hope you enjoy the video. Remember, you can always check out the other stuff in the channel. And if you do enjoy it, share it. Let me know and let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you want to see. Start in a kneeling or cross-legged position. Stack your left palm atop your right and draw your shoulders down. Shift the weight back towards your hips and lift and lengthen through the back of your skull. Close your eyes. Bring in an intentional deep ujjayi breath. Doing an inhale for a count of five and an exhale for a count of six. Using this to get steady and to set the tone for how we're going to move throughout the class. So each movement linked with the breath and feeling how the breath can create support and guide, influence the movement. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, sweep the arms up, pressing up through the middle fingers. Exhale, turn your chest to the left. Inhale, torso through center. Exhale, turn the chest to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, release the arms down. Change the interlace. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Now this time, change the grip so now the palms are facing you. Exhale, round into your back, curling the tailbone under. So you can do this cross-legged too. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the palms up, chest up. Exhale, bring the arms down halfway, curl and round into the back. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift chest up. Exhale, tuck tailbone under, round into the back, palms face the chest. Inhale to release the arms down, coming into more of an all fours position. Shift the weight into the heels of the hands and into the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift, to the, he lift the heel of the hands around the base of the fingers. Inhale to slowly lower the heel of the hand down. Exhale, lift to the base of the fingers. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift to the base of the fingers. Inhale, lower. Turn the hands outwards so the middle fingers point back. Once they're there, begin to take a little bit of movement forwards and back. So inhaling forwards, maybe scooping chest forwards. Exhale, tailbone curls under as you lean back. So cat with some wrist options. Inhale forwards. Exhale, shift back, curling into the back. Inhale forwards. Exhale, shift back. Turn the hands back straight ahead and then pitch them in. So hands are turning in. You might think one hand turns in a lot and the other one maybe not so much. In this place, lean back. So getting the stretch along the ulnar blade. Inhale, return the hands back forwards. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into more of a plank position. Inhale, lift between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Inhale, lift between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders back. Inhale, lift between the shoulders. Then exhale, send the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Set the feet hip width. Inhale, lift the tiptoes. Exhale, push down with the right hand, left hand grabs the outside of calf, ankle or heel and lower the heels down. Inhale, bring the eyes back through center, lift the tiptoes. Exhale, right hand to the outside of left calf, ankle or heel and drive down through that heel. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, shift forwards into that plank position. 
Exhale, bring your left knee to touch your left elbow and squeeze your knee against your arm. Inhale, lift between shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze your hands towards your right foot. Inhale, send the left leg back. Exhale, bring your right knee to squeeze against your right arm. Lift between the shoulder blades. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards, lifting between shoulders. Exhale, squeeze your hands towards your left foot, your knee against your arm. Inhale, send the leg back, hips up into downward facing dog. Look in between your hands. Inhale to walk your feet towards your hands and then hang down. Be down enough that you can get your hands flat, so it might mean your legs are pretty bent. Inhale, lengthen the ribs forwards. Exhale, fold down over the legs and allow the head and neck and the skull to hang towards the floor. Inhale, scoop chest forwards. Exhale, fold. Shift the weight towards your heels. Inhale, roll up. Bring your arms up. Lift chest up. Exhale, bring hands together at chest. Interlace, except for thumb and index finger. Inhale, bring the arms up. Lift left side of ribs and right side of ribs. Exhale, fold forwards. Hands down. Inhale, scoop your chest towards the front of the room. Plank. Exhale, set the feet back. Inhale, set the knees down, knees wide. Exhale, hips towards heels. Inhale, lift the elbows and glide your chest forwards into cobra. Lengthen the ribs forwards, press the feet down. Downward facing dog. Exhale, press into the tops of the feet, piking the hips up. Inhale, step or hop your feet to your hands. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers. Exhale, hands together, chest. Inhale, bring the arms up. Lift the left ribs, the right ribs, pause. Inhale to lift your shoulder blades up towards your ears. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back and pull the thumbs towards the back of the room. Inhale, lift chest. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, scoop and lengthen chest forwards. Plank, exhale. Inhale, knees down, knees wide. Exhale, hips towards heels. Inhale, glide along the floor, cobra, downward facing dog. Exhale, lift the knees up. Inhale, lift the left leg up, but point your left toe tips straight down. Exhale, move the right thigh bone away from your right low ribs. Inhale, actively press down into the hands, thinking about your elbow tips spinning towards the yoga mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the left knee to your upper left arm. Aiming to make contact there. Strong day, lift to the right fingertips, maybe reaching the right arm straight forwards. See if the hips and shoulders can level more. Inhale, release the right hand down, set the left leg down, press into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high, right toes point down, square the hips a little. So it's not that one is preferred over the other, it is more that at this moment, this is what we're looking to do. Exhale, move the left thigh away from your left low ribs, drive out through that right heel. Deep breath in. Exhale, touch the right knee to your right upper arm. If more comfortable, stronger knee, lift to the left fingertips, maybe reaching that left arm forward. It's almost like an air baby prep. Inhale, release that left hand down, press back into downward facing dog. Look in front of your hands, step your right foot close to your left hand, set the left foot close to your right hand, cross the ankles, and then sit the hips down. Once the hips are down, get onto the space just behind your sit bones and bring the legs up. Draw shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, lift up through low front ribs. Exhale, bring the legs up so they're either shins parallel to the floor, maybe legs are working straight up. Stronger day, go hands free. If your low back feels punky, use the fingertips behind you for support. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, tuck or pipe up. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, tuck or pike. 
Inhale, lean back. Exhale, tuck or pike. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, tuck or pike. Bend the legs. Think about squeezing your heels towards your butt as much as possible, rocking onto the feet for frog. And if frog isn't happening, you can always take your hips onto a block. Or if you're still in boat position, use your hands to get yourself there. Instead of using your arms to pry the legs apart, take your upper arms over the tops of your knees, push down with the arms, but lengthen out through the back of your neck. So your aim is to lift your chest up and think about the weight shifting back towards your heels. Wherever we're going next in the flow, we'll be doing that same modified flow without the chaturangas. If you want them, add them in after cobra, but adding in one pose, and then the other, and then the other. So we're creating a little bit of a longer flow. And you can always do this in your own practice and begin to create your own more dynamic flows that will serve you the way that you wish. From frog, set the hands down, come into forward bend. Inhale, lengthen the ribs towards the front of the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, take the arms wide to lift up. Clasp the hands, except for thumb and index. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, bring the torso up. Forward bend. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen the chest forwards. Plank. Exhale. Inhale, set the knees down, knees wide. Exhale, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward, shoulders down. Downward dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, bend the leg in the air and lift high onto the right toes. Now you're moving into almost flip dog. Take more weight into your right hand and begin to play with shifting onto the pinky edge of your right foot and the left foot dangling over but not touching the floor. If you need more support, then obviously put it down. Reach the left arm to the front of the room and lift the torso away from that right hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, either step or you can glide that left foot around and bring it to the front of the mat. Lunge prep. Have the right knee lifted. Lower the hips and begin to glide forwards and back. So doing this forwards and back, tucking the tailbone down to help lengthen out through the front of that right quad and the hip flexor. And lift the hips up, push down into that left foot and bend the right knee. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, work on straightening out the right leg. Inhale, scoop the chest up. Exhale, wrap shoulder blades towards the underarms. Plank. Inhale, set the hands down, set the feet back. Exhale, knees down, knees wide, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, lengthen the ribcage forwards, articulating the chest forwards. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bend the leg in the air, moving towards our not quite flipped dog. Inhale, lift the left hip toes. Exhale, turn that left foot out, coming onto the pinky edge of the left foot. Right foot is coming over, but ideally not the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm over. So I've been enjoying these little not quite flip dogs, it's a little bit more of a challenge than the full weight transfer would be. Lunge, exhale, either use your hands to help or bring that right foot around, bring it close to your left hand. Sit both hands on the floor on fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. Exhale, lower the hips and begin to do a little bit of a rocking action forwards and back, creating space in the front of that left hip. Inhale, lift the hips up a little bit. So your aim is to get right thigh bone somewhat parallel to the ground. Bend the left leg. Inhale, come up. Lift chest up. Exhale, tuck tailbone down and gradually work on straightening that left leg out. Inhale, lengthen ribs up. 
Exhale, wrap shoulder blades towards the underarms as you square off through the hips. So feel this emerging strength and control in the legs. No movement here is erratic, all with control. Inhale, set the hands down for plank, set the feet back. Exhale, set the knees down and hips towards heels. Cobra, inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. Down dog, chaturanga optional as you move up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend that leg going for a kind of almost flip dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the foot through between the hands. High lunge. Inhale, bring the arms up. Warrior two, set the right foot parallel to the back of the mat, open to face right side of your yoga mat. Left knee is still pointing forwards with that left foot. Reach outwards actively with the arms. Shoulder tight, do palms facing up. Inhale, lengthen up through the lower back. Exhale, draw shoulders and shoulder blades down and dial up the use of your legs. You should be able to feel butt muscles working. Inhale, set the hands down, step back into plank. Exhale, set the knees down, knees wide, hips towards heels. Cobra, inhale, shift the ribs forwards. Down dog, chaturanga optional, exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, bend that leg, so it might be flip dog, might be your kind of almost flip dog. Inhale, lift that right foot back right to the front of the mat. Exhale, draw shoulders and shoulder blades down. Now push into that right foot. Inhale, bring the arms up for high lunge. Warrior two. Exhale, set that left foot down so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Bend into the right leg. Palms can either face down or shoulder tight, do palms facing up. Inhale, push down into both feet, but feel forward without sliding your right foot, your right heel sliding to the left side of the mat. It should give you a sensation a little bit more into the right buttock muscles. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, press down through your feet even more. Plank. Inhale, hands come down, set the feet back. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward, shoulders down. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts, leg bends. Okay, to almost flip dog, exhale. High lunge, inhale, bring that left foot forward, sweep the arms up. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, lift the left arm up. Treat this as a side bend rather than a back bend. Rebend into your left leg. Inhale, lift left ribs up. Exhale, press into your feet, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Plank. Inhale, set the hands down. Step the feet back. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Flip dog or kind of flip dog. Exhale. High lunge. Inhale, step that right foot forwards, bring the arms up, so make it a long inhale. Warrior two. Exhale, open up to the side, shoulders down. Reverse warrior. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and back. Left hand can either be on the hip, thigh, or shin. Inhale, stretch right ribs away from pelvis. Exhale, bring the right sit bone closer to the floor. Plank. Inhale, set both hands down, set the feet back. Exhale, knees down, knees wide, hips towards heels. Cobra, inhale, scoop the ribcage forwards. Down dog, chaturanga optional, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, bend that left leg, either coming into flip dog or kind of almost flip dog. High lunge, inhale, left foot comes forward, bring the arms up. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, left arm reaches up and back. Extended warrior. Exhale, either bring your left forearm onto your left thigh with the right arm reaching, or left hand down to the floor. There's a counter spiral happening here. Inhale, roll the right ribs towards the ceiling. Exhale, wrap right shoulder blade to the underarm so the palm is facing down. 
And then feel for joining the dots between the right hand, shoulder, and right foot. Plank. Inhale, set the hands down, set the feet back. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, lengthen the chest forwards. Down dog, chaturanga optional. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Flip dog or kind of almost flip dog. High lunge. Inhale, set the right foot forwards, bring the arms up. Warrior two. Exhale. Reverse warrior. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Extended warrior. Either right forearm to thigh or right hand down. Left arm is coming up and over. Inhale, roll left ribs towards the ceiling. Exhale, wrap left shoulder blade to the underarm, rolling the left ribs up while finding that counter spiral in the arm. Press down into both feet so you're strongly connected to your legs, getting those butt muscles to cook a wee bit more. Hmm. Plank. Inhale, hands down, step the feet back. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra. Inhale, articulate chest forwards, roll the shoulder blades down. Down dog, chaturanga optional, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend that leg in the air. Flip dog or kind of flip dog. High lunge. Inhale, left foot forwards, arms up. Warrior two. Exhale. Reverse warrior. Inhale, left arm reaches. Extended warrior. Exhale, hand down, right arm reaches over. Reverse triangle. Inhale, lift up. Stretch the left arm towards the back of the room. Then inhale, stretch left ribs up. Plank. Hands down, set the feet back. And take a deep breath here, lifting between shoulders. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra, inhale, articulate chest forwards. Down dog, chaturanga optional, exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bending that leg. Exhale, flip dog or almost flip dog. High lunge, inhale, set the right foot forwards, arms up. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale, reach that right arm up and back. Extended warrior. Exhale, right arm down, left arm reaches. Reverse triangle. Inhale, reach the right arm up. So similar feel as reverse warrior. Inhale, stretch the right ribs up away from the ground. Plank. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, step back. Exhale, knees down, hips towards heels. Cobra, inhale, scoop the rib cage forward, shoulders down. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Look in between your hands. Inhale to step or hop your feet through between your hands. So you're coming to sit. Set the feet so they're about mat width apart. Use your hands behind you and flex the feet. Take a deep breath in, chest is high. Exhale, send your knees to the left. So you're turning your chest and just tidy up the angle so legs are bending roughly 90 degrees. Inhale, knees up through center. Exhale, send the knees to the right. Inhale, knees back to center. Now, same to a bit further. Exhale, send knees to the left. Continue turning, so you're turning your chest towards the back of your mat. Set the hands with the shoulder width. Take a deep breath in, look to the back of your mat. Exhale, bend the elbows, endeavoring to get the weight even in the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Flex the feet. Inhale, roll the knees back up to center. Exhale, send the knees to the right. Turn the chest all the way around to the right. Hands are turning towards the back of the mat. If you find this is an odd position, move hands closer to your pelvis. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Evenly distribute the weight in the hands. Inhale. Well, exhale rather. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Inhale, bring the legs back around. From here, bring the soles of your feet into Vadakonasana. Choosing whichever angle works better here for you. If you tighten the hips, feet further away may feel like it's a better choice. Bring the arms out to the side and then make fists with the hands. Inhale, lift your shoulder blades up. Exhale, squeeze the upper arms back and then use that to proudly shine your chest forwards. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, squeeze the arms back, push your feet into the floor as you lean forwards. Feel for lengthening forwards rather than rounding. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, the shoulders up, straight back, squeeze, deep breath in. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shoulders up, straight back, fold forwards. Inhale, lift up. Release the arms down. From here, take the feet so that you've got at least a foot and a half in your body and legs and grasp the feet. Inhale, feel for tipping the pelvis forward as you rock closer to the sit bones. Exhale, pull with the arms. Now you can use your forearms to brace against the shins. You may feel more comfortable doing forearms forwards or use your fingertips behind you to press the chest forwards. So you're choosing what is comfortable for you to do here. Slow your breathing down after all the movement. Shoulders are down and neck is relaxing. Bring yourself up. Send the legs forwards towards the front of your mat. And exhale, scoop the hips under. Begin a really slow rolling down through pelvis, lower back, mid back, shoulders, and finally your head. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears, palms face up. And doing any other movements like windscreen wiper in the legs, moving shoulders, tucking tailbone as you take a brief rest in Shavasana. Start to deepen your breath. As you do, take some movement into fingers and toes, just doing that gentle reawakening. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead, getting long from fingers to toes. Exhale, bend your legs so your feet go flat to the floor and roll to your left. Use your arms to make your way up towards a seated position. Left hand brings your head up. Once you're up, bring your hands together at chest. Switch your deep breathing back on and stay connected to the felt sense of what you've done in your practice. Acknowledge the time you've taken out of your day to do this work. And if you're viewing your practice through the lens of lack, like didn't get enough of something or need more, you, you can address that, you can do more things. But also, you can learn to accept what your practice was, regardless of whether you got every move or not. So the boy may see the acorn of his achievements, but the man looks back and sees the oak. So even if you feel like it's small steps just now, when you look back in a while, you'll see the fruits of your labors. Namaste.